Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program, Kerbal Space Adventures, with your host, Nourish Pillow from Great Creative. And today, we create a circular orbit, and we stay up there, because we're awesome. And then you know what we do? Then we deorbit. Yeah, because that's how we do it. Anyways, uh, let me just talk about the craft that we're going to do. It's exactly the same as the last craft from the first se from the first uh, video, but I've added uh, two fuel tanks onto either side that will pop off when they're out of fuel. So the main tank, well, all three of these bottom engines, engines use the uh, liquid fuel and oxidizers from the outside engines first before going to the middle one. That means that we can save weight and we can accelerate faster and we can have more fuel to use up in space. So you guys saw how I ascended. You just keep the dot on the very, very top of the ball thing. and You know, just keep a straight ascent up and then start to turn and create an orbit. So I'm just going to get us up there to about the uh, time where we deorbited last time. And then we'll go from there. So I'll see you guys there. So this is what I'm talking about uh, with the fuel tanks. As you can see, we're ascending. But while we're ascending, we're using up liquid fuel, so I can detach these stages and, magically, I'm, I've got a lot more fuel left than uh, last time. Welcome back, guys. This is about where we left off on uh, the last video and when we deorbited. As you can see, our uh, capsule has landed over there on that peninsula. But as you can see here, I've actually extended the orbit out so that our apoapses, or topest, the highest part of the orbit, is at around 100,000 uh, meters, which is 100 kilometers. 100 kilometers is a good parking orbit, because then from there, you're halfway from anywhere. That's a little quote, because uh, it literally takes half of your fuel to get out of the atmosphere. So at 100 kilometers, you're out of the atmosphere, and you can go anywhere you want in the Kerbal system. It's amazing. But that's not what we're going to do today. Today we're going to get in orbit. So what we're going to have to do is go straight to the apoapses here, burn until the periapses, or the bottom of our orbit, is extended out to the other side of the planet, and then you know what? We'll be golden. So the first thing to do here is to actually cut all the acceleration, put the SAS on, just don't move the ship, and start fast forwarding. Be very careful you don't go past the apoapses. It's best to go, it's best to be before it, than to be um, past it. Oh, <sighs> eating my own goddamn words. Alright, here we go. So the main thing we're going to do here is actually go in our uh, forward direct forward vector and just accelerate. And we should actually be able to create a perfect 100 kilometer parking orbit at around a uh, zero inclination. Uh, zero inclination because we, uh, as we went off, uh, got, got up, we uh, turned at a 90 degree angle, which gave us a very good equatorial orbit. So there we go, I'm burning the engines right now, and as you can see... everything is sort of extending outwards at a very fast pace. This is what happens when you miss the apoapses, everything gets a little funky, but you know, we can always fix it. So as you can see, the, the orbit is... oh, there we go, the periapses has... appeared and is coming closer to 100 kilometers. It's probably good enough. Yes, because we screwed up real bad. We actually push, pushed out the uh, apoapses here to four, 400 meters. That's my bad. It's a newbie, newbie, newbie mistake, but, you know, everybody makes it. We'll be fine. So, as you can see, we're perfectly in orbit. We still got a lot of fuel left. We still got the entire bottom stage left on the actual rocket. So, uh... Let's just enjoy our orbit orbit for the moment and uh, warp around. Isn't it beautiful? Caught in, a, caught in the gravitational pull of Kerbin, but safe from the outside space. Still close, but yet so far. Anyways, I'm being too poetic. We're almost at our apoapses, and now it's time to deorbit. Uh, Bill here, Bill Kerbin is. Uh, not feeling the greatest, he wants to go home, wants to land, so the easiest thing to do here, and the only thing to do here, is to move to our retrograde vector, or our backwards direction, 
and slow ourselves down <sighs> and burn home you can see there we go our periapses has actually disappeared and we will be landing in the ocean over there now because of our actual uh, you know air breaking and stuff we'll land uh, closer into the mountains there but we should be fine welcome back everybody now it's our time to enter the atmosphere we have just started that entering the very 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 bottom most and we've gotten a very beautiful uh, curve in sunrise or sunset I'm pretty sure it's a sunrise as we come in for our final approach extend our parachute and uh, get Bill safely home here so the easiest thing to do here is actually it's just a waiting game really you can see how, how far our um, periapses or our landing site has changed because of the air resistance so we should actually be landing on some mountains which is exciting because I haven't really explored this part of Kerbin so as we uh, go in for launch here I'm just gonna uh, fast forward a little it's not a good idea to fast forward because then you'll fast forward too much and that's just a bad bad combination things break things it just it becomes a mess but since we're short on time here I'm just gonna fast forward this till we're about at the uh, light turquoise no light blue part of the atmosphere the baby blue atmosphere as you can see we're dramatically reducing our speed for aero braking but we're still way too high up for me to pop my parachute so just fast forward that a little bit more going down to about 300 200 200 <laughs> One fifty. Okay. Oh, yep. See, that's what's scary. Since these are mountains, I don't know how high we are, so I'm gonna pop the parachute now. Better to be safe than to be uh, dead. <laughs> Bill's actually pretty happy. Wow. He's not. He's not. He's happy. He. He's gotten a good orbit. All right. Almost done here. The parachute is opened, and Bill is home safe. Then we can fast forward to the ground, and he can take his, uh, let me say, first steps on Earth in, a, in 42 minutes. <laughs> that was a fast flight for Bill. Slowly, 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 and we are home. Beautiful. Bill's happy to be home. So, uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, if Bill, oh, okay, sorry about that. Oh, whoa, 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 Bill. Oh God, Bill! No, he humped the he humped the the capsule so hard. <laughs> he humped it so hard, he exploded. <laughs> no, Bill! Oh God, Jesus! He crashed. Anyways, I'm Nourish Pillow. Thank you very much for watching. Check us out. Create, create creative. Like, comment, subscribe. Do whatever you want. I don't care. Actually, I do care. You should probably subscribe.